Hi everybody, Dana from the OT Guide here today. Today we're gonna go over 10 super easy, super fun core strengthening activities for your elementary school child at home. Uh, I have a background in personal training, so I'm super passionate about strengthening and the role it plays in our children's development. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get started. Let's do 10 core strengthening activities at home with your child. This activity, all you'll need is a pillow. Your child is just gonna maintain a high kneel position on it while you try to push them off. So this is what it looks like. Pillows on the floor. And the goal is for your child to not fall off the pillow. And that is it. Fun. We're gonna be drawing on the wall, except we're gonna put a piece of paper there, obviously. And we're gonna be drawing with our feet. So you're gonna take your marker, you're gonna put it between your child's big toe and next toe, and you're gonna have them lay back and draw a picture on the wall. Have them draw a picture, have them practice writing their letters. Super silly activity, really fun. Again, a great core strengthening exercise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your child's favorite toys behind them and you're gonna and you're gonna put a bowl or a bucket in front of them. They're gonna sit up. What they're gonna do is they're gonna lean back, grab their favorite toy which mine is milk, apparently, and put it in the bowl. This time you're just gonna use soft toys, and you're again gonna put the bowl or the bucket behind your student. And what they're gonna do is they are going to lay on their back, and you are gonna put a toy in between their feet. Or if they can grab a toy by themselves with their feet, great. So they grab their toy with their feet, they're laying down, they pass it to their hands, and they put it in the bucket. So pick up, reach, put it in bucket. Textbook. So you wanna put these objects right next to them. Basically what they're gonna do is they're going to lean back just a little bit, maintaining a straight back, put their legs up like this, and they're gonna pick up the objects by rotating and putting them in the bowl. This time you're gonna stand behind your child as they line supine. You're gonna hold their favorite toys and you're gonna put the bowl in front of their feet like so. So your child is gonna be laying like this, and you're gonna put their toy in between their feet, and they're gonna slowly but surely lower their feet and put the toy in the bowl in a controlled fashion. So I want your bowl or bucket on one side of the room. I'm putting mine right here and I want you to choose small light toys and put them on the other side of the room. So what your child is gonna do, excuse me, zoomy, is your child is gonna go and assume this position with their bottom in the air. It's gonna be really hard at first. They're gonna wanna sink it like this. And they're gonna put a toy on their belly and walk to the bucket whoop, without letting the toy fall. So again, you're going to take your bowl, you're going to put it on one side of the room, and you're going to take your child's favorite toys, put it on the other, and they're going to walk like a bear to pick up their toys. And you can time them. Whew, bear walking. An awesome exercise to strengthen your core as well as your upper extremities. 
Ideally, you'd be grabbing your child's feet and they would be wheelbarrow walking to pick up and retrieve a toy or to pick up a puzzle piece and put it in a puzzle. I don't have a partner, so I'm just gonna put my feet up on this table. I recommend using a couch, but my table is closer. So, I have my bowl. I put my feet up. I retrieve the toy. You're gonna need two bowls for this and then two sets of toys. I'm just using markers. Um, and you're gonna place the markers or toys in front of the child and then both of the bowls to either side. And your child is gonna lay prone on the floor. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna pick up their back legs and they're gonna pick up one item with each hand. These should be an arm's length away and put it in the bowls. So picking up while keeping their legs off the floor. All we'll need for this one is a ball of sorts. What your child is gonna do is they're gonna lay supine on their back, put their ball between their feet, and then they're going to walk the ball up as high up the wall as they can and then bring it down and they're going to see how many times they can do this before the ball drops working their core our next activity is probably the most fun activity all you're going to do is grab your kid's pillow from their bed and your child is going to practice kicking the pillow so they're working their hip flexors as well as their abs So this one is called soccer volleyball. Your child is gonna lay supine on the floor and you are gonna to toss them a ball and they're gonna kick it back to you with their legs. And you're gonna see how many times you guys can play catch. So you can come closer, come close. 